Well, hey, y'all. I'm here on my upper deck. You hear that sound? That's what we call the song, song of the sound. You have no idea how soothing that is when your brain is all over the place and you're trying to find a cohesive (laughs) point or cohesive thought, that is. I'm just sitting here coming off of four, not two, three, four days of straight, straight pain. And it's crazy how that works. But God is good. Prayer, prayer means um, to take you somewhere, as they say in the South. But I love it down here. It's so quiet. <laughs> you ain't going to get this in Atlanta. <laughs> it's just so peaceful. Just the Katie Dids. Cricket, crickets just going in it. I don't, it rained a few days here. I don't dare go in the yard at night because I am not going to get bitten by a brown recluse or get bitten by a damn copperhead because they come out when it's cool. They come out at night. People think, oh, they only come out in the daytime. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. It's cool, it's still warm, and they're coming out here. But I just want to say thank you guys for all your well wishes. Thank you for your DMs. I'm working with the VA as best I can. I know that through all the strife I've had with the VA and the ups and downs and still fighting with them, I'm still blessed. I'm still one of the lucky ones. Oh, y'all have to excuse that shiny stuff. That's Vicks. I'm old school. I'm a baby boomer. We use Vicks anytime for anything. (laughs) Um, This time of year, I ain't sitting outside without no Vicks vapor rub. Not with no COPD and asthma and all these damn trees and the dog shit. No way. But it's unseasonably warm, but wonderful. I just thought I would just take a breather. Been writing all day, setting everything straight, cleaning the office, organizing my office. I'm just tired, y'all. But I'm happy, too. I'm happy I ain't got I'm done with Elder Ball. It's in the hands of everyone it needs to be. Got some great news today. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Sorry, no spoilers there. But it's going to be great. Um, Holding out actually worked. But y'all have a wonderful weekend. I hope you guys take a moment to just breathe. Pull away from the rhetoric. Pull away from the rigam and roll. Take a moment for you to just breathe and take it all in. We have pushed ourselves so hard these past four or five years. We covid forced us into a space we did not want to be in and we had no choice but to push and push and push and push and now I'm taking my time I don't have to rush into anything I can take my time and write the stories I want to write I don't have to push them out like uh, an assembly line I'm just taking my time enjoying my space I think because I turned 60 this year 
it just made a difference. And 60 for me, I don't know, it wasn't the milestone that people said it would be. For me, 50 was the milestone because I knew it was be downhill from there. But living every day with pain is it's, it's hard. It, it's a challenge. It will try you in ways you never thought possible. But I've had so much positivity and motivation from so many people. I mean, there you have your, your people that are negative and, you know, all they want to spew is venom. But, you know, you have to sit back and I'm like, this person is just, you just ain't happy. You ain't got nothing better to do. Um, I have a life. I plan to live as much of it as possible and be who I wanted to be, be who I'm destined, I was destined to be. I was destined to be, I wasn't destined to be good. I was destined to be great, and that's what I intend to be. And I'm finally falling into a space where there's calm and peace and happiness. Um, we're never promised happiness in this world. We have to fight for it. But know what? When we see it, and that's what I intend to do. Don't give up on your dreams. But also never give up on your life either. We... Success is nothing. Greatness is everything. You can't have greatness without peace of mind, peace of soul and spirit and direction. You only get direction through peace, calm, and a type of contentment. They can only come from inside of you, period. And I say that, that's why I'm sitting out here enjoying my mason jaw of goodies <laughs> but you hear that song that's a song of the south that's a sound that in the evenings in the evening breeze it just touch you and feel you full of a type of calm you ain't gonna get nowhere on this earth uh, depending on where you live and where you at. Um, here where we are, we out here. We way out here. <laughs> we are so far removed from the hustle and bustle. But it has made such a difference. Um, I think tonight my soul finally at rest and peace because it knows that pain is a part of me it will be part of me until I breathe my last breath but it doesn't define me and there's hope there's hope in the future and I'm going to enjoy that so um I'm hitting my writing zenith, my life zenith, and it's okay. Because you know what? Authors are people too. We're real. I believe in authenticity and realness. And that's what I'm going to give y'all. So that said, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Get out. Smell all the roses. Prick the thorns as well. You can't have one without the other. That's called balance. And just enjoy your lives. And then on Monday or tomorrow, late Sunday, start your writing journey again. It's okay to be okay. <laughs> Love y'all. Y'all take care and enjoy yourselves. Okay? Bye-bye.